We always say, well, welcome back to Kyle Army in the pit lane. Somebody said a little bit earlier that this meeting has got a, a feeling of Goodwood. In that is there's a great spirit, there's some old people, and there's some old cars. Paolo Piazza Musa and Dr. Lance Fogel. We're going to talk about Dr. Lance Fogel. Uh, Paolo, Lance, you're the owner of the car, Paolo. You built this beautiful Zaxby replica. Why? Well, as a kid, I used to come to Kalami we watching my dad race. In particular, in 75, I fell in love with the Zaxby Escorts when they were one and two. And then in 77, this car won with Jody Scheck at the hands, and that just stuck in my mind. And I, I always said I want to, to have a car like that when I'm older, and when the opportunity came about, that's what I wanted to do. And uh, I was blessed to build a car, and uh, I've never looked back since. But don't forget, it wasn't just Schechter, it was that famous Tyrolean, Hans Heyer, him from Germany. Exactly, exactly right. Dr. Lance, you're not a medical doctor, you're not a dentist, you're a doctor of? Mathematics. We say that English is important, but maths is important to her. Why? Because you need to be able to count, you need to make things add up, and you need to learn not to fight the laws of physics. So you would be able to do that, what do they call it, fractional differentiation and all those integration and all those second, other things? Second order partial differential equations, that's what I specialize in. I can't... Okay, and how do we use those in everyday life? Uh, you use them to design the safety system for the Kuberg reactor core. You also use them in the world of finance. It's quite an interesting thing where you've got a reactor, a nuclear reactor and finance. Some yeah. say they're about the same thing. They will eventually both go bang. Uh, no, Kuberg does not and will not go bang. And financial markets don't go bang, they just hurt every now and then. <laughs> Pain is temporary. Glory lasts forever. And remember, chicks dig scars. But you're the owner of this car and share your passion and why this particular car. I've, I've been a lover of motorsport since I was a young kid. I never really had the opportunity to get involved, but I've been building a small collection of cars over the last 25 odd years. A couple of years ago, I was introduced to Paolo. We've become very close friends. Uh, I like to consider myself a partner in his business. Um, he's helping me maintain a collection of cars. He's teaching me how to drive a race car. Um, he's doing quite a good job. I'm not sure I'm doing such a good job. Um, but when Paolo mentioned that he was considering selling the car, um, I felt that Number one, it should stay in the country. It's an essential part of South Africa's motorsport history. I also felt it should stay within the family. And for that reason, I bought the car, and we've never looked back. And you've, uh, have you driven it and had a good go at a, on a racetrack with it? No, I haven't yet. Um, I need to be schooled in this car first. Well, the car will school you very fast. That's right, but I'm going to be schooled by Paolo first. Interesting one. Paolo, you not only... you you legendary in teaching and nurturing talent and there are quite a few fast drivers overseas that you've helped get there. David Perrell just springs to mind and what is it that makes a driver quick? Uh, to make a quick driver I always say it's a mindset. Um, I think out there today there's a lot of drivers that have the ability to drive but it's the complete package and the mind is one of the most fundamental things so when the chips are down you've got to bounce back from that and how you approach that and how you do it and Schumacher to me is a classic example of that and Hamilton well two I don't name that well but Schumacher personally met here at Carl Army uh, back in 92 and at 10 o'clock a nice one everyone else was back at the hotel having nice dinners he was here with his crew working on his car sorting out the problems those are the kind of things that I define great drivers so passion and focus and I suppose a, an absolute burning desire to succeed Absolutely. And like they said back in the past, Ferrari and Schumacher equal success. So that means it's you and the car. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. What's your favorite bit about this car, this sex speed escort? I think the revs, the sound that it makes is absolutely amazing. Are you taking people around passenger routes just now? Unfortunately not. Because I would volunteer. I mean, if you need a crash test dummy, I'm there. Okay, we can strap you to the fire extinguisher if that's okay. What a pleasure. <laughs> It'll take a few years off. Paolo, thank you very much for sharing this car. And uh, Dr. Lance Forkel, one and one is always two. Thank you very much for uh, keeping the, the car in the country and, and looking after it and allowing the dreams of many 
to be realized. Thank you very much, and this car will be seen, and it's most definitely going to be heard. Awesome, Paolo. Thanks a lot. Keep it up. Thanks, guys. Thanks for a great show.